guys welcome back to my happy kitchen today we are making a very nice vanilla sponge cake we are making mkati wa mayai you guys very very delicious i guarantee you are going to love it so you need eight eggs that's what i use and use the same mug for all the other measurements okay whichever type of mug you use use that same mug to measure flour and sugar so add your eggs into a bowl and then using the same mug put half a cup of sugar as in half a cup of the mug that we're using okay add the sugar in there but you can use more or less okay depends on your size but half a cup is perfectly fine so go ahead using a whisk or an electric beater like this uh, just go ahead and beat it until it's all whitish and fluffy okay so while you continue beating it like that go ahead and add in one tablespoon of um cardamom powder add it in there just one tablespoon okay and then keep mixing don't stop continue mixing then also add in one teaspoon of vanilla essence the vanilla essence is actually just optional but you know it adds a little a uh, bit of taste so add your cardamom powder and vanilla essence and then continue beating until it's fluffy exactly just like this it takes about 10 to 15 minutes 10 to 12 minutes okay so after that is done use the same mug you measured the eggs in and add a uh, one cup one mug of flour okay and add but add it in in bits usieke two yote at once just add it uh, in bits and then keep mixing but with a muiko or spatula or a whisk pole pole too slowly because if you mix uh, using a lot of force you are going to incorporate we are going to lose all the air we've been trying to incorporate okay so after you're done mixing your flour in go ahead and um transfer in your baking tin and bake at 160 degrees for 40 minutes and voila your kitchen will be smelling so nice and your mkati wa mayai will be ready this one is such an easy recipe you guys no baking powder is needed no butter nothing and it's absolutely delicious especially if you get it warm yeah so if you prefer you can also add raisins i added a bit of raisins but i forgot to sprinkle flour so they just sink uh they sink at the, they sunk at the bottom so thank Thank you so much guys for watching uh kindly give the recipe a try and then let me know how it goes down in the comment section below Take